finding your way around the ISIS vision system. Let me introduce you to the significant areas of the screen so you gain an understanding of their purpose and use and then I'll briefly describe each one in a little more detail. Across the top of the screen here we have what's called the toolbar and on the toolbar are the various icons that are available to perform the common functions within ISIS Vision, the functions that you use regularly. Here is a very important area we call this the Explorer and as you can see here we have the headings for Repertory, Materia Medica, Remedies, Dictionary and Search Results. Next to the Explorer we have the Clipboards. The main part of the screen is where we display all the Repertory data and all the Materia Medica data. There is also a pane here, we call the right, this the right pane, which will provide information at certain times. And finally, for those who like menus, here's the list of menus available within ISIS. Let me quickly explain a couple more facilities for you in more detail so you can understand what they do. Here is the toolbar within ISIS. This allows you to obtain information on various features within the system. So for example, if you wanted to find information about kingdoms, can you see here there's a little down arrow? This means there is a submenu. So if you click on that, we can say, show more information on kingdoms, please. And then a screen will come up. And to close the screen, we click the X. If you wanted to access the Sankaran Insights system within ISIS, you would click the shortcut button here, and up would come Sankaran's Insights. So the shortcut button is a very, very useful shortcut way of invoking the main things you wish to, to perform. I'd particularly like to draw your attention to the Options button here because clicking this button gives you access to all those settings that control the whole system. So as you can see here, we have the colour scheme, which you can easily change just by clicking on it and choosing a different colour. And then by clicking Apply, the whole appearance of the system can be changed. So you can personalise your system uh, to be whichever set of colours uh, suits you best. I'll just put them back to what they were before. And all of these settings you can read about in the, in the help text. There are also tabs here that allow you to set fonts, orders of books, repertory authors, the expert system, and some noise words which I'll explain later in more advanced tutorials. So please remember the options button at all times to set those facilities that apply to the whole system. Another thing just to draw your attention to is the use of the right mouse button. Wherever you are, whether you're in repertories, materia medicas, clipboards or repertory charts, if you get stuck and you don't know what to do, just click the right mouse button like, like this and you'll get a context-sensitive menu list of all the choices that are available to you at that point in time. Now let me continue to explain the main parts of the system. We've covered the toolbar, now a very, very important aspect of ISIS, which is the Explorer. Every time you come into the system, the Repertories tab will be opened to your previous book and previous chapter like so, and the repertory data will be displayed on the right side of the screen. To change to a different chapter, you just click the appropriate chapter here, and the display will change. Now, to move into the Materia Medica side of ISIS, which is perhaps to view the, the book, a book or books you're interested in, you click the Materia Medica tab, and your list of books will be instantly populated in the tree. Similarly, if you want to go to the Database of Remedies, you click the Remedies tab and you'll get a listing of all the remedies from A to Z in the tree here. The same with the Dictionary. It will open the Dictionary from A to Z for you to browse. And the Search tab is applied automatically for you whenever you search repertories or Materia Medicas looking for words, the results will appear in the Search tab. If you wish to change the order of books, you can just remember that right click, click the right mouse button, and then click order to view the current order of repertories or materia medicas and to rearrange them to suit how you work. The next 
area of the screen are the clipboards. We have 10 clipboards and you, this is where you put rubrics from the repertorization or even Materia Medica search results that you want to analyse go onto a clipboard for manipulation and for analysis. This is the main part of the screen where you see your repertory or if I open for example Alan's keynotes, Allium Sepa, Sepa, this is where you see your uh, Materia Medica text or remedy information or dictionary and you can flip backwards and forwards between these various parts of the system and ISIS always remembers where you were so it's like having a finger in in the repertory book and leaving it open and a bookmark in Materia Medica and the same in the remedy database but you can just flip between them to read information without losing your place or without having to start over. At this point I'd like now to introduce you to the right remedy pane. It is as a, this has a very specific use and it's connected with remedies. So basically if I click on uh, a remedy f whilst viewing Materia Medica, like so, you get information about that remedy quickly onto the same screen. So you can see this, I clicked on Crot H, which is Rattlesnake, it tells you the common name, it tells you which miasms it's affiliated with, the size of the remedy in practice, the Sankaran miasm, which we call states within ISIS, the person who first marked this entry, Crotalus horridus, within this rubric, in this case abscess, and then we have a family breakdown of the remedy showing that it's an animal, it's a reptile, it belongs to the snake family, it's a hot and thirsty remedy, and we have direct entry for Materia Medica browsing and searching. This right remedy pane is an incredibly useful facility when you want quick information on remedies. Not only that, but everything here that is blue is, is a hyperlink. If you've used the internet, you'll know what I mean. This allows you to click on a family, for example the snakes, and get a list of all the other snake remedies, like so, that are related to rattlesnake. This is a nice little facility that you use quite often. Now, the right pane has a secondary use for new ISIS users. And you may notice, or if I can draw your attention down here to the tab called Wizard, if you click the Wizard tab, this will give you the most common facilities within ISIS as a textual list that you can use whilst you're learning the system. Now, if you're really, really new to computers in ISIS, you may want to click the Wizard on. But once you've got familiar with it, you'll click the Remedy Information tab so you can keep the maximum amount of screen available for your remedies.